Good evening, folks. Back here again, uh, shooting a quick follow-up video on my uh, Alien Gear Holsters uh, mag pouch package that uh, um, I bought a little while ago. Um, again, probably not not really a full review, but just wanted to catch up to uh, point out a few of the neat things and not so neat things um, about this. Uh, little system here um, overall I'd say the review is positive and most of the um, issues I kind of have with it are really I think uh, specific to me um, but but yeah uh, I've honestly I've been wearing this pretty much all day today and this is pretty much the configuration that I've had had it in um, again I was just carrying it kind of inside the waistband with just the bag pouch itself and this uh, little uh, you know, tuckable clip on here, and I was carrying it with uh, this uh, Springfield XDS magazine, you know, like so. Um, I was playing around with it quite a bit today at probably at about the, carrying it at about the 11 o'clock position, and then probably around 7 or 8 o'clock position where I was carrying it most of the day. Um, but any anyway, I guess the first things first, kind of the downside for me at least, um, we do have this kind of like sweat guard or comfort pad that goes on the uh, mag pouch, you know, like so. It just quickly clips on. Um, but for whatever reason, you can see it, it fully f covers the entire magazine. Um, it wasn't terribly comfortable for me, especially with this uh, nine round uh, XDS magazine with that whole grip extension thing and everything else on there. Um, I've been trying to deal with it for a while. Um, but I don't know what it is with me and inside the waistband when, when it comes to the mags. I don't have any issues with uh, the guns, uh, my XDS itself. I can I can carry that appendix in a stealth gear holster. No issues all day. Super comfortable. Um, but now trying to integrate in this uh, magazine, um, again, inside the waistband, trying to get used to it. It's been, you know, it's, it's honestly, it's been rough. It's been uncomfortable. You know, I just standing up straight it's not too bad but if i try to sit or bend over or anything it just becomes a real uh um real bear for me right so um so like i said i was trying it for a while with the sweat guard on the in inside the waistband um it just felt like it was too big and too blocky so um i've been trying it the rest of the day um without that it seemed a little better particularly when i kind of carry it um just inside the belt you know not actually Put the whole mag pouch down in my pants but just carry it carrying it uh with this clipped on the inside of the belt you know the belt through here and this kind of up against my jeans it seemed a little bit more comfortable but um you know it still wasn't great um but i mean it, you know kind of the nice thing about this whole system is that it quickly can convert to um you know just a, a belt clip outside of the waistband you know i could obviously wear it in this configuration on the left side of my body but then i could also use this quickly use this clip right here that for my, um, most of the time I, I have a nylon um, 511 belt that's uh, one and uh, three quarters inches in width. Um, it's really comfortable to holster. Um, I did find that this clip tends to be a little tight getting it on. It kind of works better as just, you know, threading the belt through it itself. But I mean, I can get it on and kind of got to get it to clip in there. I think it's probably the biggest issue I have with the belt itself is that it's the uh, it has velcro on the outside of the belt and makes it really really thick but when I get it on there it's you know it's good and sturdy you know so you know it's a pretty decent clip um but again you know the, the real neat thing about this is you know I can quickly change out the configuration of the clip when I get it in the right position you know and you know I found actually fine with the belt clip I can wear it straight up and down like this but I find it's better to it's more comfortable to cant it a little bit. That's a little bit too much. But but yeah, I wear it like that on the belt. Can't can it forward a little bit. You know, as you can see, as I'm trying to look at the screen here, you know, that's kind of canted forward on my body. So um, it makes it really, really comfortable. And it's even with a big, uh, kind of a long magazine like this with a big uh, piece hanging off the top, it makes it really, uh, you know, really comfortable, really balanced and it's pretty hard to actually see um again i think uh that's that's a this is kind of an awesome 
option to be able to change those clips and, and really to change the cant. Um, one of the things I was really interested about is trying to carry it kind of transverse like this along my belt line. Um, quickly found out that, you know, it like a lot of things with concealed carry, while it looks um, pretty awesome, or it seems like a good idea, once you start trying it and you start running into the um, actually having something clipped on your belt like that, you know, it turned out that I didn't really like it, and it went straight back to, you know, kind of this this view again with the uh, kind of the slightly forward cant. Again, having this at about, I would say, um, I was carrying this at about, I'd say, 8 o'clock is typically where I put uh, put this magazine on the belt. Um, it's pretty interesting. But, yeah, this, this system, you know, it's great. Um, I think someone commented on the other video I posted up. Um... And I noticed this shortly after I posted that video as well. Um, one of the great things about this guy is that, you know, your very thin XDS mags, you know, I can really tighten it down to fit that, you know, with these three adjustable screws. But then if I decided to, oh, I'm going to be carrying my shield today or this week or whatever, you can see it doesn't fit in here. Um, you know, as I was, you know, my XDS was in the shop and I was carrying my shield quite a bit. Um, and I had these to fit in, but I mean, if I really wanted to carry my shield right now, it's very simple to just, you know, pop out this, this hex, this hex wrench, right? It's right in with your, with your pouch, you know, tighten these three screws, loosen them, tighten them, however you wanted to do it, you know, and then this guy would fit in right in here. I'm obviously not going to do it because I'm not going to be carrying a, my shield magazine right now because I'm carrying my XDS and it's kind of pointless but yeah that is a really neat little feature it just you know fits right down in there and you know you think well it's it's clipped in there you know how how good is that you know it it's it's hidden inside the mag pouch and it's with you wherever you go if you decide you need to uh to tighten up your your thing, uh, your, uh, your width of your pouch for whatever reason, um, you have the tool right with you. Um, and of course, as you can see, the, the neat little locking thing that locks the um, the clips in here, you know, for the two different sides, it automatically comes over and hides the hex hex branch hex key in there so you can't get it out. Um, so yeah, this is a pretty, pretty neat, pretty interesting little customizable little system from Alien Gear. Um, but but yeah uh, as far as that goes i can't really fault it too much um you know i guess and before i go into a little jag on the one you know what i see as a potential downside here is um let me get my clip back and where i want it again like i said it's pretty easy to adjust this it's in there it's good and i put back this tab um and a well oh yeah and that was the thing i was next thing i was going to do um that's this mag pouch um here's kind of a universal single stack pouch uh for single stack magazines from blackhawk it's um it's kind of hard to read what it actually is it's a blackhawk uh, qdc um what else i else have marked down here c 1318 whatever right so this is this, the good the good thing about this guy is you know i can stick my magazines in you know, either one, it's good to go because it has this nice big um, steel spring in here, right? You can see it's a nice big thick magwell. Of course, the downside is is the thickness, right? You put this on your belt. Oh, well, the first downside. You know, you put that on your belt. It's you know one point um, one point one five inches thick. And if I compare that to where it is on my belt for my XDS, you know, go in. And it's 0.85 inches, so it's a good, um, a good, you know, three tenths of an inch uh, thinner in this configuration. Obviously, this gets wider if I, if I, if I'm going to be carrying my shield magazine in it, but, but yeah, it 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 still will be thinner than the universal option. Um, so yeah, it's you know, obviously this really beats this, uh, this Blackhawk mag pouch, which is. You know, it's not, not a bad option. Um, these are pretty ubiquitous. They're pretty cheap. Um, but all told, it's not... I don't think it's that much cheaper than going out and buying a single magazine option of this. And, you know, you get all these other features with it. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Um, so, I think... I kind of think 
playing around with this a bit now and having it a, a, a while. Um, my biggest concern with this is there's so many little features and there's so many of these little clips is, you know, this is obviously not, not uh, meant for the, uh, you know, for, for the operators or for the military. This is very, very much fe fe uh, focused on the concealed carry market. And as such, you know, I'm sure once it starts getting a bit of heavy use, some of this stuff is going to break. You know, this little clip here, you know, it's kind of the key to keeping everything from falling out. This little, this little clip here, you know, that you turn back and forth. But I'm sure this is going to break after a period of time. You know, these plastic clips are probably going to break. Um, you know, even seeing, I can see some of these screws. Um, you know, yeah, you can see this is right. This, the head of the screw is right up against the polymer. Um, I'm, th I'm thinking after a period of time, some of this stuff is going to break down. Um, you know, but however, Alien Gear, they say they have a forever warranty and it's warrant, it should be, um, under warranty forever. But, um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens if something breaks, how good they are with actually replacing it. Um, I think they'll be, be good. You know, I've had them, they have a, as the, for their holsters and the different, different, uh, Kydex, shells that that they interchange with you know i've had no issue at all with their exchange policy i had a tar uh a taurus uh, 709 slim you know i sold the gun i didn't need the shell anymore i sent it in to them they sent me out a new one for another pistol i had you know so so that was you know no pain no muss you know i'm hoping um this will be the same way but um like i said until until we get get to that point you know who knows so, but yeah, um, overall, I'd say I'll be, I'm pretty happy with the purchase. If you watch the other video, you know, I actually have a uh, nine millimeter double stack pouch to go with this. Um, haven't used that too much. I typically don't carry my, uh, my double stack, uh, pistols, uh, too often. Um, I don't know, don't know why not. I certainly could, you know, I have been carrying my XD mod two subcompact, um, a few days this past week and I just never took the extra magazine which um, if you're concealed carrying and you have your pistol you should have your second magazine with you um, but but I think those two days I was pretty much just carrying it around the house and when I'm in the house I typically don't have an, another magazine actually on me because um, it's it's going to be a very odd situation where I'm not going to be able to get back to the room you know, with the ammunition I have in my gun to get actual, to get extra magazines. And in those cases, I'll have access to extra firearms as well. So, um, but, but yeah, that's it. Um, that's it for now. I hope I haven't rambled too much. You know, I, th I think I, these videos tend to be pretty quick and then they tend to be longer than that. So thanks a lot for watching. Um, here's another look. Um, if you have any questions about any, any of this stuff, uh, feel free to ask if you want to see another video on some certain little aspect of of this alien gear holster or or some of the uh, other i have the other um the larger cloak tuck three if anyone had any questions about that holster um you know feel free to ask you know or or request a video and i'll you know i'll do something um why not and that's it and uh so everyone be safe and thanks for watching